Hey everybody, this is Jeff with the Embroider Nerd, and today I'm going to talk to you about the default color palette, which we can see down here. Now, Chroma comes with a variety of different color palettes, and we'll go ahead and bring up the list here. We've got all the different default palettes that we have in the software, um, as well as you can add other ones. So today I'm going to show you guys how to change the default palette down here so that every time you open the software, it'll open up to the software, not only the palette that you want, but also the colors that you want, okay? So let's go ahead and I'm gonna pick Poly Neon as my um, thread chart that I want. And right here I have the different colors that are available in that brand. Um, and these are the 20 colors that are down here on the bat, on the bottom. And these are the colors that I'm going to alter right now. So I'm just going to go in and I'm going to change these numbers. I'm going to go to 1950, which is a green. Um, we're going to do 1721, which is ruby. I'm going to do 1790, which is a Mars green. Um, we'll go 1950. So if you have, oh, I already did 1950. We'll do uh, 1800. So if you have a... A uh, list of colors that you like to use all the time or you use them all the time you can enter them in here and change them and I'm going to hit OK and you'll see that it is applied here. Now what I want to do is I want to make this so that every time I open up Chroma that it's going to open up to these colors in Madeira Poly Neon and that's what I want. So I'll come over here and I'll click on this button here and I will say make current default and it'll ask me if I want to replace the default colors and I'll go ahead and I'll say yes I do now what that's done is it's changed these colors in this thread chart so that every time I open up chroma it is going to open up to the thread chart that I want and also the colors that I want now I hope that this has helped you guys out if you have any questions feel free to uh, join the chroma help group on Facebook chroma digitizing help um, you can also send messages to us here at the Embroidery Nerd. So that is what I wanted to cover today. I hope that this helps you out. Have a great evening.